So in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at adding camera shake to a Godot 4 game. For example, you can see here, it's not super satisfying. And so camera shake can really help add a little bit more uh, polish to your game and make it feel like the player is actually doing something. So in order to do this, we're going to come into my player scene and on here, I'm going to just attach a camera 2D. And then from there, I'm going to attach a script and I'm just going to call this camera shake. You can call it whatever you want. Now in here, we're going to just delete the ready function and then we're going to export two variables. So the first variable here is going to be called max shake. This is going to be a float with a default value of 10. Then the second one will be a variable called shake fade. Again, this will be a float with a value of 10.0. Then last but not least, we're going to make a variable called shake strength. Once again, a float and this will be set to zero. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, the underscore in Godot generally represents a private field. In other words, other scripts or nodes should not be changing this variable. So what we want to do here is make a function that we can call to actually trigger the shake. So I'm going to make a function trigger shake. This will return void. And all we're going to do here is set shake strength to its maximum shake strength. Next in our process function, we basically want to check if our shake strength is greater than zero. So now if shake strength is greater than zero, then we basically want to shake the camera, but we want it to fade away and we can do that using the lerp function. So we can do shake strength is equal to lerp shake strength and then lerp it to zero. And then we can use this shake fade variable, which basically just defines how fast the shake will fade away. Just to clarify here, max shake will define how aggressive the shaking is, and then shake fade is how fast that shake will fade away. All we have to do now is just simply set our offset to a vector two. To give some randomization here, we will randomly generate numbers for the X and Y axis. So randf range, this will return a random number in between the given parameters. So the first, the lower end, we want to have negative shake strength. Then for the upper, we want to have positive shake strength. Then just simply do the same on the Y axis. With that now done, we can simply call this wherever we like to trigger a camera shake. So in my case, I want to call this whenever we hit a entity. So the first thing we need to do is get access to the camera. Now there's two ways to do it, but in the case of a camera, you might want to call this in more places than one. So I would recommend giving it a group of camera. And then all we have to do in the script here is just make an on already variable. And then this will simply be um, camera And then we can just call git tree dot git first node in group and pass in camera. From there, all we have to do is just call camera dot trigger shake. And now if we run this, we should see that the camera now shakes whenever we hit an enemy. You can obviously tweak these values to whatever you like. However, I would recommend keeping them somewhat low because the higher the value, the more motion sick that the player is going to get. I would always recommend adding in a option in your settings menu to disable and enable camera shake because it's a nice feature to add some polish but it's very easy to overdo it and it's very nice to be able to turn it off so with that all said and done hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial if you have any questions comments be sure to leave them down below and i will see you guys in the next one